you're not supposed to speak ill of the dead, but Earl Blackwell finally died. And I was on his blacklist every year for being the worst dressed person. <laughs> oh, is he some sort of like society Blackwell's columnist or something? List every year is the worst dressed mm. people in America. I was right on that. Anyway. was relentless for me here was how you look. I just can't, I couldn't put up with it. I mean, it just drove me crazy. But you chose I, a whole career that is pretty concerned with that stuff. It how wasn't was, the career I chose. The career I chose was a, a drama major in college where at Yale when I was, you know, played a 90-year-old woman, you know, one of right. my most celebrated roles. <laughs> And then I played a really fat person. And I played a lot of different things, and and that's how I thought I loved to wrangle my whatever my talent, my need to express myself. I like to do it that way. I never thought I was somebody that would be on the cover of magazines in fashions, wearing <laughs> fashions. <laughs> you know, it's just like not not me. But that is what movie stardom entails. I always wore my own clothes a lot of the time yeah. in interviews, <laughs> yeah. in the marketing yeah. of the movie. I could, you know. Are these your own clothes? Actually, this is not. These are mine. Mm. These shoes are mine. But I missed... I got famous before you had to do all this stuff. I went up for King Kong. I remember that. For that would have been Jessica fun. Jessica Lange's <laughs> part. <laughs> Dino De Laurentiis, he was sitting there, he was meeting all these girls, and I came in, and I had really tried to look nice. <laughs> His son was sitting in the room, and Dino spoke to him in Italian, I know Italian, mm -hmm. I studied Italian. Mm -hmm. So he said, why don't you send me this pig? This woman, is, she's so ugly. Bruta, you know. <laughs> oh no! So I looked at him and I said, Mi dispiace molto, ma. What is that? I mean? said, I'm very sorry that I disappointed you, but. Jesus Christ. Because they're so used to Jesus. treating girls like bimbos. You know? Of course, he would never imagine that a blonde person would speak Italian. I found my knitting bag just last week and in it was a half finished sweater for a boyfriend long gone and wow. the knitting book the knitting pattern which was in women's day magazine 1967 and i looked through this magazine and i i just i couldn't believe it i showed it to my daughters and they were screaming because second page big great big ad join the only profession where you can make as much as a man, be an accountant. Yeah. And there was a column called What Men Say About Women, and the worst thing that a man can do to a woman is to let her get on top. They ask us in so many different ways not to let them. And if we don't, they're happier and we're happier. Oh, God. It's just, it's just a really different world. It's hard to explain that to people. <laughs> You know, sometimes you, you look out the window, you look at all the windows. You think inside every single one of them is somebody with some huge, weird, terrible problem. Some great jokes. There's yeah. a lot of lives worth embodying. I mean, it's very exhilarating to step into somebody else's shoes. It's very humbling to imagine somebody else's really life and their pain. It's my drug. <laughs> well, I mean, I have so much doubt. I'm an actor. But you're connecting with people so much right now. That's you know? a great thing. Yeah. Because I have a lot to say <laughs> about the world, clearly. Yeah. And uh, I can only, I can't put together, as you can see, 
a clear sense about it all, but through the work I can say what I think.